Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are going to be taking a look at another fun mod, this time in the form of Deb Refund by forum user Vendan. And I'm excited about this, mainly because we're, this is the first mod spotlight in the new .24 version of Kerbal Space Program, and the 64-bit version at that, and it's... Glorious. My little frames per second counter up in the corner that you guys can't see, but I can, is is just so happy. It's such a wonderfully high number compared to previous recordings. Uh, but yes, the mod in question that we are looking at today is once again Deb Refund, and it adds into the game something I think should have been in the new career mode for the new version. Now, with the new version, of course, we have funds and contracts and all this sorts of stuff, and your ships now actually cost basically money to produce, and you can get back some of that money for returning your parts safely back to the planet, but the problem with that is it has to be attached to a ship you are controlling. So all those asparagus stages that you do launching your things into space, those are all wasted funds. Essentially, they are for naught. But not with this mod. Deb Refund allows you to actually get refunded for your drop stages you aren't controlling, provided, of course, they land safely. Now, there are actually a couple of these mods on the forum right now, but I chose this one because, in my mind, it's the most realistic. And also, it gives you wonderful messages. We have the new message system that goes along with contracts, and it takes advantage of that. And uh, the reason I think it's more realistic is because of the land speeds. Uh, this one, when your objects land on the ground... Let's actually just load up a ship so we can start taking a look at this while I'm talking. When your objects land on the ground, if they touch down at a speed less than 6 meters per second, they will refund the bulk of the cost, if not all of it. If they, re if they land at more than 10 meters, or between 6 and 10 meters, I believe it is, then it gets damaged and you get refunded for, I believe, anywhere between 90 to 50% of the cost. So depending on how badly damaged, I guess it is, because anything above 10 meters per second, it's pretty much going to be destroyed. So under 6, it's safe, you get refunded pretty much everything. Between 6 and 10, you get refunded most of it. And I believe there is also a system in here right now for distance from the Kerbal Space Center as well. So the farther you are from KSC that your parts land, the less money you will get, because of course it takes them longer to go and recover it. So what I've got here is just a crappy little ship. I believe it cost about, I think, a thousand funds or something along those lines, and it's pretty simple. Just two solid rocket boosters and some parachutes. And it, what we'll do with it is just launch it straight up, kind of go to the side, so we can get a little distance, and also I hate having to fall forever and ever and ever to recover the ship. So uh, we're going to just kind of fly this way. And uh, you guys will be able to see the message system in place as we drop these stages. And I'm hoping, I don't know if we'll actually get far enough for from the Kerbal Space Center to actually get the distance into play, but uh, let's drop that. It has its parachutes. Oh, fire the next engine so we don't fall to the ground. That would be helpful. And that one will slowly go down to the uh, planet and hopefully survive nicely. I uh, haven't actually tested these yet. Oh my god, I need to pull up more so we don't crash and burn. Oh, perhaps just using solid rocket boosters was a bad idea. <laughs> We're getting a little too low for my comfort level here, but oh no, it looks like we'll be good. We're almost out of fuel, so launch that. Oh my, that flew away. And of course, our own parachute. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I'm actually a little surprised the parachute didn't get ripped off there with how fast we were going. But as you can see, we already have one message from that first solid rocket booster that separated, debris landed safely, so if we click that, we see that the debris landed at 3.21 meters per second, and it gives us the count of uh, how much we got refunded, including 
Oh wow, look at that. I didn't realize the fuel actually got taken into account, but we did get refunded pretty much the total cost of everything in that we had used in that stage. So let's just delete that message. Oh my, we're actually going to land before that group of debris does. That, uh, that is interesting. Uh, but you know what? Hmm. I'm a little tempted to just revert our flight and do another one of these without the parachutes. So yeah, let's just do that. Revert the flight. You saw the message. It's handy. It's cool. I, I like that it shows you a breakdown of exactly what you're getting refunded. So let's actually take off these parachutes and pop them onto there so that this first stage will just fall back to the ground and crash and burn. I'm gonna fly over to the side once more. Okay, this should be good. And I, I, I honestly do believe that this should have been in the regular career mode, but I, I, I don't understand why it wasn't. I I do understand the idea that they want you to get your ships back yourself, but all the asparagus staging and whatnot that people do, you'd think that they'd include a system for that, and that is going to crash and burn quite quickly, and... Wait for it. Kaboom! There we go, and as you can see, we got no message about it getting returned safely, so we got absolutely no refunding whatsoever from that. Whereas, once this one releases, we will get funds back from it. So let's stage, and then our own parachute. There we go. Ah, like a little cruise missile flying away. Not very far, though, and again, that stuff will land quite safely, probably at a roughly the same speed of 3.21 meters per second, and we'll get back all the price. So I am actually going to revert our flight again to the vehicle assembly building this time, and load up a second craft that I'm hoping will take the distance into account. Now this one's a bit bigger, a bit more powerful, much, much larger beast. So let us launch that once more with Jebediah in tow, the poor fool. But uh, yeah, overall, I, I am quite liking this as an addition to the regular career mode. And I honestly did not mean to launch the <laughs> rocket right when we loaded up. I was intending to uh, talk for a second and then sort of do a countdown, but oh well, <laughs> it just went and I probably should have added some fins or something onto this, because my word, I was hoping we'd be turning more <laughs> so we could get farther away from the Kerbal Space Center. Oh well, oh my, look at those wonderful speed effects. Let's drop those, and all of those, provided they don't run into each other and explode, they should all land quite nicely, very, very close to the Kerbal Space Center, whereas this ship, Let's actually let it burn out, and then we'll accelerate time for a bit, and just let it kind of travel with us. So hopefully we get a good distance away from the Kerbal Space Center. Hopefully not crashing and burning into the mountains over there. So let's accelerate time a bit here. Oh yes, it always warns you when you try to go up to three. Let's actually just keep it at two. That should be fine. More than enough, really. And we have gotten quite a ways away from the Kerbal Space Center now. And let's actually look at the map, see how far hopefully we may go. Ah, it is expanding. Okay, so we'll probably land, I'm assuming. Oh my, we're, <laughs> we are currently a lawn dart. Okay, let's, let's bring time back to normal and release that stage. And then our own parachute. Oh my god, I hope that doesn't land on us. <laughs> okay, let's... Huh, we're gonna land far, far more quickly than that is going to since it has four parachutes. Okay, let's accelerate time once more. Hopefully not cause any weird physics glitches trying to land. At this, actually, once we get close... Oh my, look at that parachute glitch. <laughs> okay, back to 1x speed. 
There we go, so it stops freaking out like that. Oh! Oh, there it goes, it's parachutes released. I was worried there for a moment that it may crash and burn. Okay, okay. Now the fun part of waiting for it to land. I am actually going to accelerate time here uh, in the editing software so that we can uh, have you guys be brought back once that lands and hopefully safely and securely. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, and it is just about ready to touch down. Hopefully it doesn't explode. It didn't. It did. A little bit. Only only a little bit, though. Not, not a whole lot. The engine itself is still intact. Oh, though I don't have a message about it surviving. Oh my, interesting. Okay, so we have four messages here, and these should be from the four solid rocket boosters that we dropped, because they all count individually. Yeah, two radial mount parachutes, the decoupler and the booster. That is that one. Oh, let's delete that. Close. Yep, that is the same. Delete that and close. Delete and close. And yeah, delete and close. That one technically did not survive, or we moved too far from the Kerbal Space Center for it to matter. That is intriguing. I'm wondering which it is, because that does actually look quite intact. Hmm, intriguing. Well, let's recover our vessel. Well, at least get back money for uh, our own ship parts. Uh, but yeah, see, normally when you'd come back to the planet, this is all you'd get refunded for, parts-wise. But that's why I, I really do love this Deb refund. It's, it's very useful. It means that a lot more of your funds will get returned as long as you think ahead and make sure all of your asparagus staging has parachutes so that it can land safely. And if you're taking the time to ensure it is safely returned to the planet, you should be getting back a sizable portion of your funds spent on them. And well, I absolutely love that. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be the it for this episode. And uh, if you would like to check out this mod, I will of course put a link in the description so you can go and check it out for yourself. And honestly, if you are doing career mode in the new update, in my mind, this is an essential because it, well, it means you're wasting less funds, again, as long as you think ahead. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you all have enjoyed and, of course, that you come back for the next episode and whatever mod we'll be looking at then. But until such time, thank you for watching. And as always, my friends, have a good one.